Out of Louisiana, ABC News is now making a projection, and the projection is one that is likely to make all parties a bit uncomfortable because we are projecting that this is going to go into a runoff. Uh, the three candidates there, uh, Mary Landry, the uh, incumbent uh, Democratic senator, has been running up, uh, running against a representative, uh, Bill Cassidy, the Republican. Uh, and then there's a, a, another candidate in the race, Mr. Manis, and, uh, and this is a state where you need 50 percent uh, to be declared the winner on Election Day. So we're now looking at a runoff. Let me just tell you about one other uh, development tonight, and then I want to ask Rick about um, about Louisiana, because of course that is a consequential development. But we also have the personhood amendment, which was on the personhood, uh, I believe is an amendment on the ballot in Colorado, uh, which would confer personhood uh, upon the unborn. And ABC News is projecting that this will not pass. This had become uh, something of a political football in the race for Senate there, where as uh, Lindsay was discussing earlier, uh, the, uh, the incumbent Democrat became known as uh, Senator Uterus, his name is actually Mark Udall, because he was running on uh, women's issues so aggressively and according to the local newspaper in an offensive manner. That's their word, not mine. Uh, but let me get back to Louisiana a second uh, here with Rick Klein. Um, that this is going to a runoff yeah. means that we may not know until January, potentially, who's going to be in control of the Senate. Yeah, this is overtime scenario number one of the night. And there could be others, including Alaska, including Georgia. We've got a month now to watch what happens in Louisiana. And it is going to be a bayou brawl. It is going to be unprecedented, the amount of outside money that it's going to... I see the graphics already. We're going to be calling this the we, we yeah. Should, yeah, we should definitely patent the, the term right now. <laughs> All the outside money that's going to flow in there if control of the Senate is at stake. Now, Mary Landry is a fighter. She's won runoffs in the state twice before. But let me tell you, she's never run in an environment like this. This state has trended toward the Republicans very consistently. Uh, Population trends that were exacerbated by Hurricane Katrina, but this is a very hard to win. You're a very hard state to win in as a Democrat under the best of circumstances. This would not be the best of circumstances if this is for all the marbles. Do you really think that even though she's won runoffs twice before, her brother's the popular mayor yeah. of New Orleans. She comes from a, a, a well-known political family in that state. You really think that she cannot prevail in the in the no, runoff? No, I, I think she can. I don't think it's a question of cannot. I'll tell you what Democrats thought. The best chance for Mary Landry to survive was in the first round of voting against the split. Republican Party. What was going on in, in, in Louisiana, you had two Republicans on the ballot because the state has a weird voting where you don't actually have primaries. So you had this Tea Party Republican with Sarah Palin's uh, endorsement. You also had uh, Bill Cassidy, the, the more mainstream establishment Republican. So the idea of splitting that up, if she got to 50%, it, this was the best opportunity to get it, a lot of them thought. But both sides have actually reserved advertising in Louisiana for the month of November and early December. They were anticipating this. This, was, this is actually not a surprise, but it's, it's not good for Democratic hopes because because it gives Republicans a chance to pick up that sixth seat maybe a month from now. Right, but if this, if the Senate, uh, control of the Senate does not hinge by yes. the end of the night on Louisiana, they're not going to be, they're, they're going to not fire up the uh, charter jets that are sitting on runways right yeah, now I, and I all the money. Not. In fact, that's usually with runoffs. No one cares unless everybody cares. And if, the, if control is at stake in any state, whether that's Georgia or Louisiana, or, a, or if you had a recount situation in any state or extended voting in Alaska, then everyone, all of these lawyers have the, the jets fueled up and are ready to, to, to go in there. And you know that the money is going to flow in. If this is just gravy, if, the, if Republicans get their six seats without this tonight, then I think we're not going to pay as much attention. Let's get it to uh, ABC News uh, correspondent Matt Gutman, who's been covering the Louisiana race. Uh, Matt, what are you hearing about how uh, hot and competitive this runoff will be, especially if, as we've just been discussing with Rick, the control of the, the United States Senate hinges on the outcome? Couldn't be much hotter. And as you said, it's a battle in the bayou in a hot state, humid always. There's been a lot of money spent on ads already, um, about $35 million on Louisiana alone to the tune of about 8 or $9 per vote. That is a tremendous amount of money. And that is probably an indication of what you and Rick said we're going to see, which is a fierce battle over that one seat. Now, this has been something that Landrew saw coming. Um, everybody knew that if she didn't take it, it is going to be very hard for her, the incumbent, to be able to take Cassidy in this runoff. And there's a lot of time. I mean, you guys mentioned till January. That is a tremendous amount of time for people to build up Cassidy's ground game if it doesn't, if it's not strong enough already, and to be able to battle her on her own turf. Um, voters have been disaffected with some of the things that they're seeing from. Um, from Landry. One of the things is that, of course, 
She's an incumbent. She is a Washington insider, something that rankles so many people. Here in Kansas City today, just across the river, all anybody wants to talk about is how much they dislike Obama. And any affiliation with Washington, and especially Obama, serves as a big black mark on whoever is the incumbent. And she's going to have to fight that, and it's going to be weeks and weeks of uphill, vicious battles. And again, you know, we've been talking about the tenor of these ads, and if the past few months have been any indication, the next few months are going to be absolutely brutal in terms of the negativity that we're going to see in these ads. My friend Matt Gutman reporting from Kansas City tonight. Matt, we'll get back to you many times as the evening progresses. Of course, there is a very, very hot race in that city, in that state where you're standing right now. We'll, be, we'll want to find out whether Greg Gorman will be able to prevail over uh, the incumbent Pat Roberts.